welcome to the session so in this particular video we are going to start our new module which is basically towards the graph traversal algorithms in the previous part of our video we have already talked about the basics of graphs now i think it's the right time that we will start covering up the somewhat advanced concepts of how internally the traversal algorithms will work and their implementation of the same in python programming language right so let's get started with the concept of i would say graph traversal algorithms right graph traversal algorithms so now uh whenever we are talking about a graph we have seen that the major advantage of this concept is in the networking part right so whenever i want to build a network in any of the social platform whether it be linkedin right whether it be i would say uh uh instagram whether it be twitter and many more so for all the social media platforms whatever we have internally the graph data structure is working uh, into picture why because for example i have created a profile by the name of a priya bhatia now someone from other uh, network connect wants to connect with me and sends me a friend request so what i will do a connection will be formed between that particular person for example there is someone called as shubham kumar so there is a edge which will be created so when you say that you will be having that many number of followers it means that many edges you have in this way you are connected with them correct now what i want is that i want to traverse each and every node present inside the graph now whenever i am saying graph word i hope with the basic uh fundamentals that we have covered up in our previous video everyone is able to understand that by saying graph graph is actually i can say every graph is a is a tree can i say so whenever you are trying to create a tree so i can write like this whenever i want to create some tree so that can also be considered as a graph so graph is somewhere a subset a superset sorry graph is somewhere a i would say superset of trees can we say now why is versa is not true so as you can see in the image for example if i will uh, create any graph you can't say that that is actually a tree as well the major property is graph is a cyclic but uh, the tree is a cyclic but graph can create a cycle as well okay so what i want to say here is that there is somewhere a correlation between the tree traversal and the graph traversal part that i will show you in a later part of our module but whenever we are talking about a graph traversal algorithms two important algorithms come into picture one is called as the depth dfs or dft called as depth first traversal and the another one is known as bft called as breadth first traversal these are the two major traversal algorithms that we have now whenever we are talking about dft depth first traversal here you will observe while doing the implementation and while understanding the logical part of the same that a stack is coming into picture or if i'll write it in on, on later part of my page so whenever i'm saying that you, you are doing dft traversal means depth first traversal in that case you will observe that somehow in your code itself you are trying to use the concept of recursion you are trying to use the concept of recursion to call each and every node inside the tree and whenever we are using a concept of recursion we all know that the stack data structure automatically comes into picture okay and when we are trying to talk about the bft which is breadth first traversal here you will observe that i am not using any kind of a recursion there is no recursion which is going on then how it will try to traverse 
each and every node inside the graph it is trying to help take the help of something called as queue based data structure it is trying to take the help of a queue based data structure to traverse each and every node inside the given graph right so this question is also asked in so many interviews and people usually get confused because i think they used to cram these things if someone is asking to you that which data structure you will use to implement dft your answer should be your answer should be stack and if someone is asking to you that which data data structure you will use in order to implement bft your answer should be q how logically they are different first of all i will try to explain the pseudo code of these algorithms and then we automatically got the logical understanding but in a nutshell with respect to the tree traversal you will observe in future sessions that bft with respect to tree is somewhere equals to the level order traversal that we do in the trees level order traversal and dft is somewhere equals to the tree traversals that we understood uh basically that those three depending upon which particular vertex you are starting it can be pre order equivalent to pre order it can be equivalent to in order and it can be equivalent to the post order because if you remember in all these three traversal algorithms somehow we are using the concept of recursion we are calling the same function again right but in level order we are using the queue to implement the same so that is where they are correlated but where the important difference lies in depth first as the name suggests we will go towards the depth of every graph or the tree right here i am treating both as same but i hope everyone knows that what is the difference between these two right so the major difference is tree is always a cyclic in nature but graph can be a cyclic or it can contain cycle as well a cyclic or it can contain the cycle part as well right so that is the major difference but the common thing is that if suppose the graph is a cyclic that can be considered as a category of a tree only so now in the future session what we have to discuss we need to discuss that what's the pseudo code and the logical understanding about the depth first traversal followed by its implementation we also try to discuss once we will be able to get the proper logical understanding of these traversal algorithms then what is the time complexity required to uh, execute this task and you will be able to understand the time complexity only when you know the basics of graphs right uh, you know the fundamentals of the trees then only you will be able to understand the time complexity part as well right with this let's end this session and let's meet in the upcoming part of the video where i will discuss that how basically depth first traversal will work we'll try to understand the logical understanding of the same with its pseudo code and we'll try to run also the same thing on the graph itself and then we'll do the implementation in the upcoming later part of the video with this i would like to in this particular session i hope that you really enjoyed it and i'll see you all in my next next upcoming video